The action-packed pay-per-view main card commenced with a clash between two powerful middleweight contenders, Mark andre Berrialt and Eric Anders. From the opening bell, both fighters came out swinging with relentless intensity. Berrialt made an early impact in the first round, dropping and stunning Anders. However, Anders showcased his toughness and managed to recover, pressuring the French-Canadian fighter and engaging in close-range battles. The second round remained evenly contested, with Berrialt's accidental low blows being the most notable moments. The third round continued in a similar fashion, but without any fouls. When the fight concluded, the judges were unanimous in their decision, awarding Berrialt a clean sweep on the scorecards. This win marked his second consecutive victory and contributed to the Canadian's impressive four-fight winning streak on the card. Dan Ige, who had experienced a three-fight losing streak earlier in the year, showcased his resilience by securing a second consecutive win against the durable Nate Landwer in Vancouver. Throughout the first and second rounds, the two fighters engaged in toe-to-toe -to -toe exchanges, with Ige displaying a diverse array of attacks and landing with a slightly higher accuracy. Towards the end of each frame, Ige managed to hurt Landwer, nearly finishing the fight in the second round. The final five minutes saw both fighters giving their all in an intense showdown. Landwer's toughness was evident as he withstood Ige's attacks. Ige's victory highlighted why he is a prominent figure in the featherweight division and a challenging matchup for anyone aiming to climb the rankings. Mike Malott ensured a Canadian sweep at UFC 289 with a second round submission victory over Adam Fugit. Although Malott didn't finish the fight in the opening round, he sealed the deal in the second. After flooring Fugit with a powerful right hand left hook combination, Malott swiftly transitioned into a guillotine choke, securing the tap out. This win marked Malott's third consecutive victory since joining the UFC from Dana White's Contender Series. The Burlington, Ontario native is making a significant impact in his UFC career, showcasing his finishing abilities and solidifying his position as a rising prospect. With such a breakout start, Malat is likely to receive another high-profile opportunity in his next outing. In the highly anticipated co-main event of UFC 289, Charles Oliveira made a resounding statement by securing a first-round TKO victory over Benil Dariush. Oliveira's performance showcased his readiness to contend for the championship once again. During the fight, Darius had control on the ground for a considerable portion of the round. However, Oliveira displayed his resilience and managed to work his way back up. As the round neared its end, Oliveira seized the opportunity to go on the offensive, hurting Darius and forcing him to the canvas. From there, Oliveira unleashed a barrage of strikes, ultimately leading to a stoppage. This impressive win halted Dariusha's winning streak and highlighted Oliveira's dangerous skill set. With his record-breaking number of stoppage wins, Oliveira firmly established himself as a top contender in the division, making a statement in his return to the octagon. In the main event of UFC 289, Amanda Nunes once again proved her dominance in the bantamweight division by successfully defending her title against Irene Aldana. Nunez delivered a commanding performance, leaving no doubts about her superiority in the division. Throughout the fight, Nunez displayed her striking prowess, peppering Aldana with jabs and kicks to the midsection. She showcased a varied offense and mixed in heavy combinations, continually keeping Aldana on the defensive. Nunez also demonstrated her takedown ability, effortlessly taking the fight to the ground whenever she desired. In every aspect of the game, Nunez overwhelmed Aldana, landing heavy shots in the championship rounds that further emphasized the gap between the two fighters and solidified Nunez's status as the division's queen. Following her victory, Nunez made a significant announcement, announcing her retirement from the sport. With this decision, Nunez brings an end to her illustrious career, solidifying her legacy as one of the greatest female fighters in UFC history. Her retirement marks the end of an era and leaves a remarkable impact on the sport. Thank you for tuning in to this recap. We hope you enjoyed the breakdown of the fights from UFC 289. If you found this content informative and entertaining, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with future recaps and more exciting sports content. Your support means a lot to us. Until next time, keep watching and stay connected.